Cat Tales Wildwood Story is finally here, people! I've been waiting for this game for years! If you view this video without knowing what this game is, then you just gotta know that it's like Stardew Valley, but cats! Yep, you heard me correctly! For those that already do know Cat Tales, then here's 10 beginner tips that I wish I did on my very first spring in Wildwood Story. For more efficiency. Now let's go. Number 1. Always get a buddy for your daily adventures. When you reach 3-star friendship with a cat, you can start to buddy up with them. Having buddies to tag along will make your life easier because they will defend you, help you hunt, and even forage. Just remember to check their traits so that you would know which cat would be a perfect companion for you. For starters though, Crampy, Ellie, and Talon are really good for combat. Number 2. Most colony and house customizations are free. Just summon the mole and ask them to place furnitures and then you'd see a catalog with lots of choices. And yep, they're all free. You can check out Ember's store, the mole store, and the board store for more furnitures. Number 3. Skills work on rocks too, and they don't add up to your hunger. To save time and food, you can use skills to destroy rocks in the mines. It's advisable to use skills that has quick cooldown and the ones that does AoE like Lion's Roar. You can pair this with a tenacity skill so that you can do it twice as much. Number 4. It's easy to get muse if you love hunting and forage. Even the most common preys like the mouse and squirrels can be sold to Ember for 7 muse. If it's getting a little grindy for your taste, just head over to the settings and change it to coin toss for faster hunting. And remember to go a wee bit closer for higher chances of winning. Number 5. You can beat the forest guardian. And you can also make godly kittens with them. The cat gods loved and liked gifts are usually of rare and legendary rarity though. But it'll be easier to romance them once you unlock the queen of the night, fox club, and catnip seed recipes for your farm. But if you like to mine, then topaz and quartz from floor 50 mines works too. But if you prefer hunting, then rabbits, hares, lizards, and doves would be a good offering. Number 6. Don't hesitate to go to Crampy for healing. It only costs a couple of muse which you can easily get by hunting, and it's much better than wasting your day, because dying here ends your day. You can also consider taking a nap at your den if it's still early. Oh, and if you have a buddy, then you can also ask Crumpy to heal your buddy. Alternatively, you can dismiss your buddy and re-invite them back, and then they'll be at full health again. Number 7. It's a good idea to donate spare herbs to your stockpile in order to aid every cat in combat. Donating 3 herbs or more will unlock the herb perk, which grants more hit points to every cat. Plus, it's very easy to forge anyways. Number 8. Speaking of the stockpile, it would be better to send your troops to conquer lands with more resources. Just head over to Talon, assign squads, and let them conquer or defend an area with lots of wood, stone, treasure, or sand. Don't waste them on prey and herb gathering. Those are easy tasks that you can do for your colony. You might also want to focus on barracks upgrade first for more daily resources. Number 9. Keep gathering power paws. There's tons of them hiding on rocks, floors, seasonal trivias, rewards and festivals, and many more. Power boss increases your stat depending on what you got. Red boss increases your health, yellow increases movement speed, green increases luck, which affects your hunting. Blue increases the hunger bar, purple affects social graces, meaning that it'll be much easier for you to befriend cats, and lastly, the multicolored power paws affects our attacks. I'll discuss more about their locations on a different guide, so stay tuned. Number 10. You can always change the pace of your game. When starting the game, we'll be asked how we want to play the game, and we can actually change it at the settings. Here we get to change the flow of time, combat difficulty, and hunt mode type. You can edit here anytime. Changes that you do here applies instantly. And that's about it! Did you know that there's also a new game plus for this? You'll get to play as your kitten and see how the colony has thrived. Even the other married cats will have kittens of their own too. It's just so cute! But anyways, like and subscribe for more Cat Tales Wildwood Story coming your way. Bye bye